Hello, this is Tiny King Trashmouth. This is a video alternative for the guide I've posted on Steam on how to make Survivor V Guy or HUD, whatever you want to call it. In this video, I'll be detailing the lobby icons, and in another, I'll be detailing the in game icons. To start, I'll open up with the Left 4 Dead 2 one since that one's a little more complex. <coughs> All the files I'll be using here are listed in the guide itself for download, so you can just grab them from there when you need them. Anyway, the Left 4 Dead 2 one has five layers. The border, which never moves. The coloring layer, which gives the image the color that the official portraits have. The actual layer where your image will be. The outline for that image. And the background, which you can move around freely to give it a little extra variety between all your mods. <coughs> anyway, I'll be using my Hatsumi Sega mod for reference. It's all I can really think of. Sorry for those of you who hate these kind of mods. But the guide works all the same. So I'll drag the image that I want to use here. This is going to be official art, fan art, or just a model screenshot, whatever you want to use. Now, in most cases, you'll probably have to downscale it to fit nicely. Usually, you don't have to do too much. Once you get it fit nicely, merge it into the character layer and crop it down so that it fits nicely. Make any adjustments you may need to after. After that, I've also put the instructions of what to do on the layer names themselves, so you should have no issue if you forget or need to go back to that. For the color layer, it has the HTML notation for the color you need in the name. Just copy that, go to your color picker, and paste it in. For the coloring layer, select the alpha of your character layer and then just fill it in. It'll give you that nice color that you need. And then for the outline, you do the same. Grow the selection by two, feather it by two, and then fill it in with black. If you want, you can make it a little thicker as well by growing it by three instead. And there you go, it's as simple as that. And if you need to move the background to get a different look, then you can do that as well. That's about as simple as it gets for the Left 4 Dead 2 ones. Now for the Left 4 Dead 1 style, I already have things set up here, but everything will be a clean slate on the files themselves. You have the character layer, and then you have the outline. And of course the background, which is the same case. Big image, you can move it around as you need. Again, you'll be dragging your image, resizing it as needed. Make sure it has a nice fit. In most cases, you want at least like the waist up of the character visible. Center it as needed. Crop it, merge it down, select the alpha, grow by two or three, your preference. Grab the color from the layer name. It's always in the HTML notation form. And then just fill it in from there. That's about as simple as it gets for this one. It's a lot easier than the Left 4 Dead 2 ones. And that's about it for these ones, and I'll see you in the next video.